hello welcome to my channel m Rosie here if this is your first time of clicking on my video you are welcome if you've been watching my videos well you know me very well <laughs> thank you for clicking um in this video i'm going to talk about 16 uh, bad human behaviors oh my goodness human beings are bad i am telling you this <laughs> i am a human being and i'm telling you this human beings are bad human beings are bad honestly human beings are bad take that from me <laughs> unless if you have not seen if you have lived the amount of years that i have lived on this earth i'm sure you've had the experience even those in their 20s 15th even 11 you know up to whatever age i'm sure every one of you know what i'm talking about the first one i'm going to talk about is envy <laughs> when you are praying just pray pray to god that you don't come across an envy soul if you come across an envious soul oh my goodness you won't know what hits you you will not know because somebody who envies will envy you for no reason for no reason you see they will envy you for no reason they will hate you so much that they will even hate the ground that you you tread you walk on that is how bad envy is and envy can push people to do can push people to the extreme i am telling you this people can do anything when they are envious of you so that is the first one the second one is jealousy <laughs> that is another one almost attached to envy a jealous person can do anything out of jealousy a jealous soul a jealous human being wants your life if somebody is jealous of you know that that person wants your life that person you cannot live the type of life that you've got that person wants everything you have that is why they're jealous of you because they can't fit into your shoes and sometimes when, when they don't know how you live your life, things you do, they get so jealous that they will be so overwhelmed with the jealousy and they'll start acting it out. And you will see it in their faces. You will see it in their eyes. You will see it from the way they talk to you that this person is jealous of you. So beware. Envy and jealousy are the same. It's just that envy is more serious. Envy is more serious. So take that from me. And the third one is hate. <laughs> just pray that somebody should not hate you. Because people hate for no reason. People hate for no reason. Somebody who doesn't even know who you are. Somebody who just, he's just seeing you for the first time. We just hate you for no reason or for whatever reason they have in their heads. They will just hate you. A lot of people have gone through so much because of hate. You see, because of hate. People close to you can hate you. People who don't know you before can hate you. People who are just meeting you for the first time can hate you. So don't say, oh, this is my best friend. This is my best buddy. This is my best cousin. This is my best family member. This is my best, this, best, that. No be careful unless you are lucky you're lucky to have that family member or that cousin or that friend or whatever but hmm, hate is hate somebody could hate you just because of your race somebody could hate you because of the skin of your on your, your the color of your skin somebody could hate you because you are intelligent somebody could hate you because you <sighs> you have it all going for you somebody could even hate you just like that for no reason for no reason somebody could just hate you because you are alive i'm telling you this take this from me so um they <laughs> i 
I've got a list here which I'm going through while talking to you guys. Um, number four is greed. <laughs> human be some human beings. I'm not gonna in this one. I'm not gonna say all. Anyway, and everything I'm saying is some human beings. There are people who who are not. There are people who don't fit into all this that I'm describing, but I'm just saying some, some human beings are very greedy. <laughs> if you meet somebody that is greedy, you are in for a big ride. I am telling you this. You are in for a big ride. A greedy person can do anything to get what he or she wants. A greedy person can do anything a greedy person can approach you to be your boyfriend. A greedy, a greedy person can approach you to be your girlfriend. A greedy person can do anything. I am telling you this. It doesn't, it doesn't have to, it doesn't really have to be about friendship or relationship. In general, a greedy person is dangerous. I am telling you this. I don't know if I should just tell you a story. What, how? one of these things happened to me how a greedy person you know should i call that greed yes that comes on that greed i used to own a shop in southeast london so in 2014 when i opened that shop i think 2013 to 14 then um, i called on this my friend who is a hairdresser and i said oh could you kind of accompany me to where i can get hair because my in my shop i was selling um i was selling uh, shoes clothes bags accessories you know those things and i decided to um add a hair collection to it and wigs because i inside that shop i had a small hairdressing salon setup hairdressing stroke barbing salon setup so i really wanted to get all these things to put in there before opening the uh, that section of the shop so i called this uh, lady and i said uh, please could you accompany me to um, where i can get all these things in wholesale she said yeah she knows the place and um, that morning we decided to go so when we were going, I said, okay, since you know the place, you can drive my car. You see, because I, where I don't really know, I don't like driving. I'd rather get a bus than drive to the place because I don't want to start going up and down asking questions. Even though you have your sat nav, your sat nav sometimes will direct you to the wrong place. It happens all the time. So I said, since you know the place, you drive. And when I said you drive, she didn't tell me that... Um, um she didn't have a driver's license or she had issue with the driver's license i have no idea no she didn't have issue with the driver's license she just accepted and drove you know but she didn't have a license there with her so while we were going we missed the turn at a roundabout and i said to her I said just keep going don't turn back because me i know spiritually i know that when you miss a turn don't go and turn back to go into that turn there must be something that god didn't want you to see or there must be something that will happen to you that god is trying to push you away from so i said let's just keep going every road leads into each other we went for like one and a half miles and she just turned one and a half miles from that uh, 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 road that we, we kind of missed she turned back and I said, what are you doing? She said, she's going back through that road. There was nothing I could do. I said, okay. She turned back. As soon as we got into the road, we were pulled over. We were pulled over. You see? We were pulled over. That's what God didn't want to happen to us. We were pulled over. So we stopped and they said, document, blah, blah, blah. We brought out everything and then... They asked for her license. She didn't have it there. Then they said, well, that she is not on, she has no, uh, what, I didn't put her on my, 
car whatever that she will be driving my car that she 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 shouldn't have been driving my car because her name is not on the listed drivers that can drive the car so on the spot they they find her 300 pounds and put in three points on her no at that moment we have no idea whether they were going to put points on her license or not they just told her okay here is the paper. Go and pay 300 pounds and come to our office with your driver's license. So that's what we did. So we left. I drove from there. So we went to the place and we came back. I gave her 300 pounds to pay that fine. I gave her out of my own goodness because that is me. I don't like I know that, yes, she was driving my car and she shouldn't have been driving. And I said drive, you know, but that's why I paid it. You guys won't believe it. The second day, this lady started pestering me with phone calls upon phone calls that she went there with her license and they put three points on her license that that is going to be on her license for the next six years, blah, 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 blah. Oh my goodness, this cause kept coming. That I said, she has said, What do you want? She said, I have to give her 800 pounds. That's what she said, I have to give her. I said, Well, because I don't like conflicts, I don't like quarrels, I don't like fights. It's not that I can't give it back to anybody that gives it to me. You bring it hot, I can give you hot. You bring it cold, I can give you cold. But then at a certain age, one you change you know and that's me this lady will call and she will talk and talk and talk and talk on these uh, points they put on her license she will call and she will talk and talk and talk every day i'm telling you then one morning one um whether it was friday or thursday she walked into my shop she came into my shop prepared really angry really really angry and was ready to do anything there in my shop <laughs> i looked at her and i said okay no problem i opened my till and i gave her 700 pounds she wanted 800 i gave her 700 and i said here is 700 and that's all i'm gonna give you i'm giving you this money because i want peace it's not that i cannot make trouble as well so i gave her the 700 pounds that is 1000 the whole thing so a journey that could have just cost me 10 pounds petrol in my car cost me, well, 1,010 pounds. So that's it. When you meet somebody who is greedy, that is what you get. We are still friends. I know she's going to watch this video. I have nothing against her. I have forgiven. I have let go. Because when it comes to material things, I don't quarrel with anybody. I don't fight with anybody. There are so many people who have my money, money that would be enough for me to even build a house if I collect it from all of them. But I just let go. I still speak with them, some of them. And some of them, I don't even know where they are anymore. And some of them I do, but I don't really speak with them. And some, I still speak with them. So it's nothing so that's it that's an example of greed that i want to give you there are so many different ways that human beings can be greedy you see a greedy person will want what you have will want to milk you you know a greedy person will turn you to their atm a greedy person will come very charismatic and tell you how they love you and this and that men do it women do it and they will milk you Till the end, unless you get wise as soon as possible. So that is greed for you. That's an example of greed. So the next one is lies. Lies, lies, lies. <laughs> it's not just men. Because when some women will say, there are men tell lies, men tell too many lies. Women tell lies as well. You see, there are people who don't even have one single truth in their mouth. When you ask them, what they had for breakfast, they will lie. They don't know the difference between lie and truth anymore because it has become part of them. To them, it's just like having a shower and putting on clothes. That's the way lies is to them. 
they will lie about anything but the ones i detest the ones i don't really like are the liars that will initiate a conversation telling you lies you didn't ask them any question they will just start telling you lies all bullshit lies beware of people like that because in everyday life you will come across those kind of people you will come across them nothing 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 is the truth in from whatever they tell you if they tell it make hundred sentences all are lies because that's who they are you see there are people who tell white lies those people i can forgive them it's just white lies they don't want to hurt your feelings i can forgive them but i do not condone that i do not like that why don't you just tell the truth so that if somebody calls you up any minute any second you will repeat exactly what you said but if you tell lies that means you have to upgrade that lie all the time you have to update it all the time the time you will spend making your life easy planning the way you want your life to be talking to god doing stuff to, to to better your life you will spend that time trying to upgrade lies trying to upgrade lies because you don't want to be caught so that is it and the next one is human beings they judge <laughs> they judge even people who have skeleton in their cupboard they judge they, they judge you for anything whatever it is nobody will even say okay i know this person that person cannot do this they just judge you and that is human beings they judge you the moment something happens you see them run away people who say they are your friends people who say they're your husbands, people who say they're your wives, people who say they're your member of family, members of your family, you see, <laughs> at the sign of a tiny issue, they run. And when they run, they start judging you. That is human beings. That is human beings. <laughs> Humans are like that. So, and the next one is gossip. The famous one. Gossip. People gossip. There are people who it's their profession. They take gossip as a profession. Before you say Jack on the phone or even when you meet them, they will start telling you stuff about somebody. They will slander that person so much that you won't even want to see that person in this world. They will gossip even the dead they talk about the dead they gossip about the dead you see there are people who gossip so much and when they are talking to you you can't even pitch in one word because they won't give you time to talk they are busy they are busy gossiping about the person and when they see the next person the gossip will turn to you because the next person comes along to them they will gossip you so only feed people what you want others to hear what you don't want people to hear do not feed people with that okay so that's gossip for you there are people who enjoy it so much they enjoy gossip so the next one i'm, I'm gonna have to look down look in my paper because i've got so much that i have to look i have to look to tell you um the next one is manipulation oh my goodness there are people who hmm, they have phd they have degree degree <laughs> in manipulation they will manipulate you so much that you won't even know there are people who well is the way god created them you know, they believe everything somebody says. They trust the, this person and the person is there manipulating them. You see, manipulation can reduce you to nothing. Manipulation, because when somebody manipulates you and you accept that, you have given that person power over you. You see, you have given that, that person the power. That's why they can manipulate you. 
So you need to sit tight and get your power back from whoever is manipulating you now. It's not a good place to be. Maybe you allow them to do it because you want them around you. You need company. You allow them to do it because there is something you gain from them. You allow them to do it because you don't have a penny to your name. You allow them to do it because you don't have a roof over your head. Be wise and change that situation. That's what I have to tell you. So the next one is, um, let's see, after manipulation, deceit. Deceit. If you are not careful, somebody will deceive you to the extent that you will lose your life. Deceit is very common, but you must learn how to, how to kind of, um, how do I put it? You learn how to um, not put yourself in that situation. When somebody is talking to you, alarm bells ring. It's just that we don't want to know because we trust that person who is talking to us. Alarm bells ring all the time. God shows us these signs. The angels always show you the signs, but you don't want to know because you really like this person or I don't know what to say. I don't know. The signs are always there. When somebody is deceiving you, the signs are there. Read, read, read the tiny lines. The signs are there. The signs are there. That's all I will say. Be careful. Be careful and watch out. Okay? Watch out. It's not a good, it's not a good um, situation to be in when somebody is deceiving you. And you just kind of say, okay. Some people even know and they don't want to change that situation because of one reason or the other. Or maybe they are afraid of the person. You have to make up your mind. And if, if you are afraid, get rid of fear. Because fear can't help you. It will not. So the next one is betrayal. <clears throat> betrayal. Human beings. When you put your trust in them, they will betray you. That's why you have to be careful the way you live your life. Be careful who you bring around you. Watch out. Watch out. You know. Watch out. Just be careful. Because when you are betrayed, it doesn't just end there. Betrayal could lead to somebody going six feet below the ground. Betrayal could lead to somebody being locked up. Betrayal could lead to somebody losing everything they have. Betrayal could lead to somebody, it could lead to anything. Just be careful. Be careful. Don't let it get to that before you opt out. Be very careful. Anybody can betray you. Don't say, I trust this person. I know this person. Anybody can betray you. That's all I know. Be careful. So the next one is um, after betrayal is abuse. <laughs> that is the one that I really need to say much about. There are people being abused verbally. There are people being abused sexually. There are people be, being uh, um, abused physically. There are different types of, so many types of abuse going on. And people, you know, some people are afraid. And some people, they don't know what to do. Some people, they think that they deserve that. They think, oh, that they have done something to make them deserve that. And some people think, oh, God has for, forsaken them. That's why they, they're in that situation. No, God hasn't forsaken you. You need to reach out to God to bring you out of that abuse. No matter what kind of abuse it is, it's not right. No matter what type of abuse it is, it's not right. You need to get out of it. Find your way out of it. Reach out to God, reach out to Jesus Christ, and a way will be made. God is always there. He makes way for us where there is no way. Jesus Christ is there. He makes way where there is no way. All you have to do is to reach out. If you are waiting for God to reach out to you, it's not going to happen. If you are waiting for Jesus to reach out to you, it's not going to happen because God Almighty, Jesus Christ, they've given us our free will. It's our choice. We have to choose whether we want it or not. 
So if you are in any sort of abusive relationship, abusive friendship, abusive situation, reach out to God. God will make a way and you will come out of it. It's not a good place to be in. You see, it's a very dangerous place because that as well can send you six feet below the ground and nobody would be able to trace you. Nobody will know what happened to you. So you need to reach out to God. Seek help. Seek professional help as well. Seek professional help. And God Almighty will help you. So the next one is... Um, let me see. Let me see. My list is long. It's about 16. The next one is... Hmm, M. 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 A lot of people commit M every day. They send people on uh, 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 they send people six feet below the ground when it's not yet their time. A lot of people do this. Human beings. And the funniest thing is when this happens, they will join to look for that person. You see? Then we join the, 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 the search party to look for the person. Sometimes it's even something done in somebody's home. Nobody knew when they went in there. Human beings, we need to change. If you have done anything like that, if you have committed M, you need to ask God for forgiveness. And if it's somebody you've put six feet below and nobody knows that, you need to let somebody know. It is a bad thing. It is the worst thing you could do. Because God created us into this world. And only God knows when we are supposed to go back. Nobody, no human being has the right to send anybody six feet below. When it's not yet the person's time. Nobody has that right. Nobody. So repent if you've done that. It's a very bad thing to do. Um, the next one after that is, let me see, hmm. this number 13, um, stealing, stealing, human beings steal as well, thieves, now they've given it a name, they said stealing is an illness, stealing is not an illness, Stealing is a combination of greed and uh, 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 what else would I call it? It's a combination of greed and jealousy. That's what stealing is because you see something that belongs to somebody, you are jealous, you steal it. You steal it. You see somebody, you see going to a shop. You, because you've seen a friend that has used something, you saw it in the shop, you decide to steal it. You break into somebody's home to steal what they have. Why? That's not a good thing. Stealing is bad. So that's part of what human beings do. It's part of the bad behavior, you know. And um, number 14 is um, spiteful. <laughs> some people are so spiteful so so spiteful of 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 another being that they that will just overcrowd overshadow their 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 morals you see that overshadows their morals you spite you spite somebody and you do some something to implicate the person you spite somebody and you do something to put that person in trouble there are so many people in trouble, in prison, for something that they did not do. There are so many people suffering for, for what they didn't do. There are so many people that were, um, how do I put it, um, sent away from their homeland because of something they did not do. You see, why do you spite someone else? We all are uh, made in the image of god god made us in his image so whatever you do to another person you are doing it to god as well you see why do things out of spite it's wrong 
see it's wrong so change that so after spiteful i have um cruelty cruelty cruel cruel so many people are cruel so oh my goodness wicked another way to to um explain cruelty is wickedness a wicked person is cruel there are people who are cruel to fellow human beings there are people that's wickedness wicked to fellow human beings wicked to animals wicked to plants wicked to everything that god created in this world there are wicked people who don't have uh, um, they don't have uh, conscience anymore their conscience is dead because for you to be wicked or cruel that means you don't have a conscience because why we god uh, gave us conscience is for our conscience to guide us our con your conscience should guide you when you want to do something and it's not right your conscience will keep repeating it keep flogging you keep beating you up so you know that what you want to do is not right that's why we have conscience but these people don't have conscience anymore therefore they can show their wickedness and cruelty on human beings on animal on plants on everything on everything wicked people oh my goodness you need to change because that's not going to lead you anywhere that's not going to help your soul yes you are enjoying it doing it here on earth but where is your soul going is that going to help your soul is that going to help your soul so you need to change and stop being wicked. Stop maltreating other human beings like you. You see, stop doing that. Stop maltreating that staff staff member, that, that worker, your employees. Stop maltreating all those house helps. Stop maltreating your, your friends. Some people even maltreat their friends. They are wicked to their friends. You see, their wickedness has no limit. So you need to change if you if you if you are if you are that kind of person go and pick up your conscience where you left it go and dig it up and pick it up pick up your conscience because conscience is what guides you on on what is good and what is not good so go and get your conscience back wherever you put it that's all i have to say so after that i have let me see number 16 where is it <clears throat> <clears throat> that could that that really really got me going honestly i got i think that's number 16 that is it so yeah that's the last one that's the last one wickedness wickedness that is it oh sorry that's number 15 number 16 is harmful People who go out of their way to harm somebody. It's not nice to harm people. It's not nice to harm animals. It's not even nice. Erase that from, from whatever it is from your life. Get rid of that, that word. Harmfulness. Remove it. It's not a good thing to do. You see. It's not a good thing to do. So like I said in one of my videos. All these things, if you get rid of it, if you get rid of all this, I'm not saying that everybody's like that. I'm making this video for those who have one or two or three of these going on in their lives or those who have everything going on in their life. I'm not accusing anybody. I'm just making this video. You need to change. You need to try and... Um, raise your vibration your vibrational frequency raise your vibrational uh, frequency get out of that low lower energy that low lower uh, uh, frequency get out of it and when you raise your vibrational frequency then you will see that things will change and in that way you will give your soul insurance you will have that place with god when you pass on that's all i have to say you will have that place to go when you pass on what will it take to remove one or two or three of these that you have going on in your life you see let's love one another let's help each other 
you see because that's what god looks at let's forgive those who have offended us if somebody has done something to you that you are finding it difficult to forgive forgive the person and let god be the judge let god fight the battle on your behalf let god revenge on your behalf because if you don't let go if you don't forgive god almighty is not going to do anything you see and if you don't let go it's yourself you're tying yourself down you tie yourself down. That person is out there enjoying his or her life. But you are there bitter. Bitter, you see. So change it. Remove all these things and live a happy life. Because as soon as you remove it, you will see that joy, happiness will come into your life. And things will start happening. The angels will start working on your behalf, you see. If you don't get rid of it, your guardian angel is not going to come around you. Your guardian angel will be far away looking at you. All the angels that God assigned to you will not come near you. Your, uh, uh, what's it called? Your spiritual guide will not come near you. Then you will start complaining, oh, nothing is happening. Now you do this, you do that, nothing is happening. You need to change all this. You see, love, forgiveness gratefulness gratitude you see that is all that matters to god that is all that matters to god so thank you for watching my video and please 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 with this my video i'm not targeting anybody don't take this personal it's not i'm not targeting anybody i'm just making a video there are trillions of people live, living on this earth. So this might video will be helpful to any of them, you see. And the example I gave of greed, yes, I mean it, but I have long forgiven that person. It's all done. I'm not angry with the person anymore because we are still in contact with each other, you see. So I'm not angry with that person. It's just an example I gave because I have to get it off my chest. I really have to had to get it off my chest you see and that is a very good example of greed there are so many types of greed you see so thank you for watching and um, if you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button um if you don't like notification you don't have to not uh, turn on the notification bell uh, like my video um, share my video with um, friends and family. I have so many of them. It's almost um, 150 videos on this channel and about 32 videos on the other channel. I have an, another channel called Just M. Rosie TV. I have about 32 videos at this moment there. And it will keep growing. This one is heading to 100 and uh, I've lost count, maybe 130 something or whatever. You see, almost getting to 150 videos. So subscribe to my channel and um, I'll see you guys in my next one. May God Almighty, may God Almighty meet you all at your point of need. Thank you for watching and see you in the 